Hello and welcome once again to the Rugged Rock Hound. Today I am here with Utah Rocks once again and we're at Topaz Mountain. This is a place both of us know very well. We've both been here many times and it's about time I made a video out here. Normally when I come here, I'll go over into this area, the west end of the bowl, where you find red barrel crystals and it's the most commonly dug area. Today we both decided to go check out the V. So the V is a place I haven't been to in a long time. You can see it kind of makes a V over there in the valley. Right in the middle of the photo there, right above my hat. <laughs> and we're going to go look for some really good quality topaz crystals. You don't usually find red barrels over there. I did hear that somewhere up in the area you can find a zone with some red barrels. I don't know where it is though, and I don't probably want to spend my time today doing that. Yeah. Let's go to the V and look for some good quality topaz crystals. Okay, we are on our way hiking up toward the V. As we're hiking, I figured I'd give a quick history of the geology of this area and talk about how you find the good pockets of topaz out here at Topaz Mountain. So these uh, hills that we can see around us, these mountains, are all volcanic layers of ash and flows of lava known as rhyolite. And this occurred about two to three million years ago. So at the time, the mountains here kind of looked like what the Cascades in Washington are, where you've got volcanoes going off. And the volcanoes here deposited all these layers over hundreds of thousands of years worth of time, building up into these mountains. And as it started to cool down, as they started to die off, hot water and gas from down in the earth where there's still magma, where it's still hot, slowly bring minerals up to the surface. And it just so happened that in this area, the minerals, sorry, we're following the road. <laughs> the minerals brought up were just sufficient to form topaz and other minerals like red barrel, Bixbyite, pseudobrookite, garnets, things like that but mostly topaz. So that's what you're looking for here, is where those hot fluid systems and gases came up through the layers of rock to deposit here in the lava flow where you have gas bubbles. So obviously you wanna find gas pockets, air bubbles where the crystals formed. But they don't form just everywhere. If you take a look out that way, you'll see that some areas are lighter in color, like a white. Other places look more red. So where it's red, it hasn't really gotten altered very much. The hot water and fluids and gases that came up didn't really go through those zones. So those are not a good place to look. You wanna look in the more white areas, especially back there where you can see the white areas. That's where you wanna look, because that is where the hot water and gases bleached the rock. And that's a good place to find topaz and other minerals. Now, another thing you wanna look for are what are known as vent structures. So this stuff came up somehow, and where it came up, it formed a series of bubbles, all interconnected, where it deposited the crystals. So when you're up here looking, if you want to find a lot of good topaz, you don't want to spend a whole bunch of time just breaking rock and finding little gas bubbles in the lava that have a few crystals in it. You really want to find a vent structure. And a vent structure can be anywhere, but you'll know it because it'll be an area where the rock is softer and it's just a series of chamber after chamber after chamber, usually bubbles that are bigger than the bubbles you normally see. Hey, look, topaz crystal right there. Nice. See a nice little clear one. Yeah, that's a good size, actually. <laughs> of course, we're looking for the yellow ones, which we'll have to dig for. And another way that really helps you find these vent structures is looking at plants. So if you look at the trees and bushes, in order for them to find a place to grow, they need to find soil that's more loose, that has open spaces, 
maybe more sandy. And guess what? Sometimes that's where the vent structure is. So following the plants can help you get an idea of where you might find some crystals. All right, we made it to the V. Here you can see this light colored white going through here. This is the zone where we should find some good topazes. In the book, it talks about this space, this spot particularly, but you can find anything all through here and even up this way too. So here's the zone. It's up to us where we want to give it a shot. All right, walking up a little further. This might be promising. Maybe I can split some of that off. And that looks like a good spot there. I'm gonna check that spot really quick. Didn't find much down there where I was looking. Came up here, found this piece that was had a fracture going through it, and it is about to come off. You can see the crack going all the way through it. And I thought you might like to see it as it comes off. Slowly see if there's anything behind it. Nothing, just tiny air bubbles. See, that's unfortunate. All right, I've come up a bit further. Nice view out across the bowl. And came over here and I saw this, there's a bush. And then there was a nice little kind of structure here and these were fairly loose. So I figured I'd go ahead and pry them loose. Um, in the back when I was pulling some things out, there were a few crystals, mostly just sandy things, but maybe a little, yeah, that one's got some clarity to it. <clears throat> and so I started pulling this out. This all collapsed, so I'm probably going to sift through that dirt for any crystals, but these are about to go. So let's film that. Anything in there would have fallen out into here. So we'll have to check that. It does look like there's some pockets along the side. Okay. Here comes this one. I don't want it to go down the hill, I just want it to stop right here. Hmm. It's like mostly a bunch of tiny pockets. Okay, let's see what's in here. Sandy crystal. Sandy crystal. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to get very good clear stuff right here. Hmm. Sandy crystal. a little bigger. Can't tell if it's just all sandy though. Yeah, they might all be sandy, but we'll clean them off to be sure. They might actually be clear, just they're just covered in dirt and need to be washed off. All right, so we were over there, two bridges over, and it's just too sandy over there, the crystals. So we came over here to see if they were clear, and they do seem to be clear. And I found this rock that seems to have broken off naturally. You can already see some of the exposed pockets. And there was this exposed pocket, and this is what I've pulled out so far. Ah, too bad that one wasn't still yellow. But we've got some yellow stuff coming out, and the pocket's going that way. Let's see what we can find. Okay, this is where I think we're getting to the edge, because the crystals are all stuck to the side. 
there was a loose rock right here and I broke it off and look at the bottom of it. Had a pocket right here, right there. So I'll see what I can find on that side. All right, broke another rock off and found that. Okay, getting a little better. Been going along. I've hit a few different little places. Found a few little crystals, not a whole lot. Um, I found this that was loose and popped it off. And I pulled these two crystals out. I'll get them cleaned up at home so you can see them. But they're looking much better. And I think I see a larger one right here that's about to come out. There we go. I got it out. So it's really dirty. Can't really see anything right now. I'll have to get it washed off. I walked up here and I saw that. Look at that. And look at this. Wow. That's some topaz. All right, I'm gonna poke around and see if I can find a spot in here somewhere. All right, I've been hammering for a bit and I think this whole section is about ready to go. I already got that part off. Okay, set you up so you can watch as I knock it off. Here she goes. Maybe. There's a big pocket in the back. It's a big pocket right here. Question is, is there anything in it? Because the crack was there and it might have escaped. But we'll dig through it and see if we can find anything. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Look at that. That's a nice crystal. There's another nice one in my hand. There. Okay, I'll put them on this little ledge here. Oh, this could be good. Another one. Oh, look at the size of that thing on the bottom. Too bad it's stuck. All right, we also got some other pockets around here too. Okay, I might want a glove on just in case there's somebody living in there. There's one. I'm gonna put the camera down. It's hard to uh, do this holding it. Oh, 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 oh. Look at the size of that cluster. That's what we're looking for. Oh, that just made my day. <laughs> oh, we'll get that cleaned off. There we go. Okay, what else we got in this? pocket here. Oh, there's one. Okay, that was nothing. Right, nothing there. Going. Whoop. See, I wish I would have brought a stick for digging. There's one there, it looks sandy though. Yeah, this pocket's really opening up. So you look at the size of that thing. Oh yeah. There's the tip of one. It's like the edge of the pocket with a few little crystals on it. Hey, I'm not sure if you can see that. There's some crystals right on the side right there. If 
Oh, yeah. There you go. That's a good looking one right there. Oh, yes. Ah, there's a long one. Another one. Ah, there's one. <laughs> Look at that. Heading back to the vehicle. There's Utah Rocks right in front of me. He has no idea what I found yet. He doesn't know that I found that nice pocket. So it will surprise him. Oh, that's so big. That's going to be cool when you get it cleaned up. I know. The pocket was very dirty ahead because it was a crack in the back of the rock. So uh -huh. The water, water had gotten got down there. with dirt. Those are big. Though. Here's the big one. Oh my gosh! Look at that one. Woo! That is big. Oh, I was so happy. I was so excited wow. when I found that pocket. And that'll be cool when you clean it. Next time we do choose to go up there, I'll take you to that spot I was at. Okay. It looked somewhat untouched because yeah. every now and then there was this exposed pocket that hadn't been touched. Woo. Well, we're gonna head out now. It's time to get heading back. It's Halloween. Yeah. Gotta get the kids out and enjoy Halloween. Okay. And it'd be nice to get back to my wife and we can enjoy Halloween. <laughs> right. That is an interesting looking cloud. It looks like a comb or a hairbrush with a bunch of hair on it. Made it back from Topaz Mountain. Got all the specimens cleaned off right here, ready to show. Let's go ahead and take a nice, good close-up look at them. Here they are. So we'll start with the sandy crystals. This right here is the stuff I was pulling out when I was going, sandy crystal, sandy crystal. Yeah, got quite a few of those, unfortunately. Still, they're kind of nice in their own way. Let's take a good look at all these. Here we have some of the smaller crystals that I pulled out at different places. So a lot of the little yellow ones. Even got some decent clear ones, colorless. And then here's the nicer yellow ones I was pulling out of that pocket. This was that big one right at the beginning. Pulled that out of the pocket, it was nice. And here are the clusters that I found. So that one and that one. And, of course, the really big one I was excited about. Ah, it's a little sandy, that's too bad. But still, overall, pretty nice. Yeah, so that is what I found on this trip. I've had better. Definitely had much better. But overall, it was a pretty good, pretty good dig. That is it for today's video. I hope you really enjoyed it. I had a great time at Topaz Mountain, out with Utah Rocks. Sorry about the noise, they're doing concrete over there. And... I hope to see you on the next video. Remember, there's treasure everywhere.